Well, thank you. Well, we're making biblical allusions. I think just last week we were at this microphone talking about National Bible Week. And I think one of the, one of the phrases that you run across again and again as you read the Bible is that God promised Abraham a land flowing of milk and honey. I'll uh, let the body decide what type of milk Abraham or the Lord was um, promising Abraham. I think I know. Uh, in any event, uh, for some reason, the current, as somebody who's been drinking milk my whole life, I can tell you a better tasting milk and a milk that I think is more likely to be consumed is whole milk. For some reason, the current administration is waging war on milk. The USDA's current restrictions on school lunches are limiting nutritious options for kids. This comes at a time when it's found that 90% of Americans do not eat enough dairy to meet dietary recommendations. Drinking milk leads to better bone health and lower risk for type 2 diabetes and uh, cardiovascular disease. Addition, additionally, milk stands as a leading and accessible source of nine essential nutrients that children also often fall short of. Proposed guidelines such as limiting milk options by age group and counting milk fat against weekly saturated allowance threaten to deprive students of essential ingredients. I'm sorry, nutrition. It is crucial that students have access to nutritional benefits of milk, and with these restrictions, they might choose to forego milk entirely if you have to drink the less tasty 1% or yuck, even worse, fat-free milk. Uh, these proposed restrictions ignore several recent research studies examining the, effect, examining the effect of higher fat milk consumption, which found that it is associated with lower childhood obesity and concluded that dietary guidelines that recommend reduced fat milk versions might not provide a benefit in lowering the risk of childhood obesity, which we are all for. I implore each of you to consider the Whole Milk for Healthy Kids Act of 2023 as a common sense solution to ensure that we have healthy children. Thank you for your attention, and I ask my fellow members to Jones. vote yes on H.R. 1147. Jones,